it's time to find out what the appeal was of these three-wheel oddities. They certainly proved popular in the 1930s, and it seems they're having a bit of a resurgence, because in 2011, nearly 60 years after they last made one, Morgan announced the three-wheelers were going back into production, and they've become a surprising hit. This time with a 2-litre V-twin petrol engine and a 5-speed gearbox, for two petrol heads it's a must for a test drive. Oh yeah! <laughs> look at this! Fantastic, look at that! You know sometimes when you look at something and it looks like something else? Yeah, that it's... looks like a, a pre-war plane cockpit. Yeah, it does. Right then. Okay, right. Mate, I'm not going to get in there with you. I'm waiting, get in. Get your elbows in then. Can I get in first? No. Yes, first impressions are it's a bit of a squeeze. Get that out. But once you're in, it turns out to be quite a pleasant surprise. Oh, yeah! And break off. The new Morgan three-wheeler is very much a toy for the wealthy, as it's hardly a functional family car. But it's built with performance in mind, pulling 0 to 60 in 6 seconds and with a top speed of 115 miles per hour. It also has a hefty price tag starting at £31,000. I'll tell you what, I absolutely love this. What's it like to drive? It's like driving a posh man's go-kart. <laughs> it's very easy to forget the fact that you're being driven by one puny little tyre on the back there. Very true. It is like a motorbike. It is. It feels a bit naughty driving this thing without a helmet on, doesn't yeah. it? But I like it. You don't need four wheels. This car is for the motorcyclists who can't balance. <laughs> So now the boys have got the feel of a fully modern three-wheeler, they should have worked up the courage for the next step, to try out a 1930s original, not a drive for the faint-hearted. Fantastic. Look at that. Brilliant. Now this yeah. is a work of pure art. Come on then. Ignition on. Yep. Pull the starter. Yep. Here we go. The first ever Morgan three-wheeler was hand-built by Henry Morgan himself in 1909, fabricated out of whatever he could get his hands on, including an old motorcycle engine. Within a few years of forming the company, Morgan established quite a reputation, believe it or not, on the racetrack, securing 10 British and world records for various classes of cycle cars. Speed and endurance was obviously not a problem in the early years. Stopping, however, it seems is a different matter. The brakes are really not, not kind of modern world at all. Uh, can I get out? No. <laughs> this is a real driver's car, you know. You mean, it's a car you've got to really, really drive. Yeah. It's like wrestling a small but perfectly formed and muscular alligator. By the time the 1930s came around, the three-wheelers were a common sight on the streets of Great Britain, costing £120, or £6,500 in today's money. They helped bring motoring to the masses and made Morgan a familiar name as a British car manufacturer. Oh, is it hill? Oh, no. I'll tell you what, you have to plan for the hills in here, don't you? Yeah, you do, yeah, by getting out early and getting a taxi down. <laughs> I said about the other car, I can see why they designed such a beautiful little thing of these gorgeous hills out here. This one... The guy must have been a regular drinker. He must have been hammered when he designed this thing. 